Lecavalier in front, a little tip intended for Malone. Chara guns it off the boards. Paye has his second short-handed breakaway of the night. He dangles, he waits, he scores! Daniel Paye on the shorthand, and the Bruins have tied it again. I love watching Paye dangle, don't you? Dangle. Dangle, Flip he it. dangles, he flips. Roofs it. What's the big deal? Did you guys watch many one-on-one between periods? I miss I that. never miss it. I miss I that. D- I DVR it. They, the goalie didn't stop one. Neither goalie. I don't even know how many goalies there are, but every kid scored. It was getting re- redundant. And it was cheese, huh? I think Paye was watching him because he made the same move as some kid <laughs> some from... Some kid uh, from Woburn? Yeah, some kid from Weymouth <laughs> made that same move. And... And it worked. scored. It worked on the shorthand, Jerry. Looks so promising for the Bruins at that point. No, no, it didn't. It was going to be another yeah, another one of those up, games they up. stole. If they won this, it was going to be another one of those uh, mirages. We say, oh, everything's okay. Yeah. It's not. Yeah, no, it's not because uh, I think Tampa Bay won 5-3. to three. They went on uh, Stamkos' 31st goal, by the way. It was about 135-foot empty net. empty net goal. I know, but I'm saying he still has 31 to lead the league. And those feisty lightning, or the Ning, as Jack calls them, or uh, beat the Bruins 5-3. to three. He and calls them the Ning? I think he's called them that in the past, yes. So that's their nickname, Jerry, the Ning, yes. What's Claude called him Nathan Horton? Uh, Slacker, isn't he? Yeah. Slacker? A little bit, a little bit. What happened there, Daniel? Please enlighten us. Well, he called him out. He said, we need more uh, more contribution from him. I mean, he's coming off the concussion from, from last year's playoff. And so Horton goes out and scores two goals. Yeah, he's, what did Claude say after the game? He said, well, he said, time. <laughs> no, no, worse than that. He says, unfortunately, because they gave us two goals, they also gave up three. They were on the ice for five goals. We need better production from that line. Hmm. So he scores two, but gave up three. Claude's not happy with him. He's one of those guys that when he takes the puck, set a net, and he's a big, strong guy, and he stays on the puck, he scores goals. So uh, he was certainly a, a guy that gave us some, some good offense tonight and uh, unfortunate uh, in a way, because, you know, they scored two goals, but uh, they also gave up three. And uh, they've been on for five goals in the last two games and uh, certainly would like that to get better from that line. Yeah. You do a great impression of Claude Julian. That was he very puck. good. He says puck, 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 puck. Sports Radio WEEI, now on 93.7 FM in Boston.